Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about ZSH. Now, ZSH is my favorite shell to use on my computer, and there are several reasons why. For the most part, it's because it's mostly bash with a few extra features, and it has easier... You can extend it easier than you can bash. So like, there's a ton of stuff you can do with bash and make it better. You can enable auto-completion, you can enable auto suggestions in bash you can enable different prompts in bash there you can do all the same things in bash that you can do with zsh it's just a little bit more work than it is in zsh and that's the reason why i like zsh because i'm always all about doing as little work as possible so <laughs> i mean really truer words have never been spoken i mean that should literally be the byline on my channel. I mean, that's just the way it should be. Matt, the laziest bastard to ever exist. I'm just, I mean, it's just out there. <laughs> Anyways, ZSH is just an amazing prompt that is just, it's just like Bash, but with a few extra features. So I'm going to talk about the day, that today, but before I do, I just want to answer the question, why don't I use fish? And the answer to that question is very simple. Fish does not know what a dollar sign means in a script. I'm just going to put that out there. That's the reason why. You run a shell script with a dollar sign in it, Fish isn't going to know what to do. Matter of fact, it'll tell you it literally does not know what to do. And until Fish learns what to do with a dollar sign in a shell, in a shell script, it's not going to get my business. So that's the reason why I don't use Fish. So let's just jump in and I'll show you a few of the things I like about ZSH. So one of the things that I enjoy most about ZSH is the auto completion. So if I type in documents like this, it's gonna it'll actually go through and try to complete that. Obviously I missed type that completely and added a special character to it. So I'm not gonna have it go through and do that. But if I t type in that and then press tab, it will go through and complete it for me. In Bash for the most part, unless you've added some functionality to it, if you don't type documents or downloads or whatever with a capital D, it'll return an error. Now, like I said, you can go through and bash and change that through some magic. But for the most part, if you mistype something, it's just not going to work. If you want to auto auto complete in bash, you have to at least have spelled it right from the start. Now, auto correct and auto suggestions are a little bit different. So auto suggestions will go through and actually go th remind you of past commands that you've ran so if, if i do let me see if i can find one that i've run before so cd slash run so if you as you can see the, it will actually go through and try to predict what i'm going to be typing that's not built in zsh out of the box but it has a plugin that allows me to do that you can do that in bash as well but again it requires some extra work and also, auto completion is really good for going to different directories. So if I wanted to CD into my user slash local slash bin, if I just wanted to type in slash u slash l slash b and then press tab, it would actually go through and complete all those things for me. It's kind of, it's basically an alias, uh, but it works. And it, it's especially good if you've made a, a like if, if I, I believe if I do this, if I do US URS and do tab here, no, that don't work. Sometimes you have to guess, you know, what will work and what won't work. It's not 100% accurate, but for the most part, if I do, like I said, if I do U, L, O, and then I'll actually go through and complete it that way. That's really nice. And let's say I want to go into something else outside of you know, inside this directory. If I press tab twice again, that I think I have to be in this one. Yeah, if I t press tab twice again, it'll actually go through and allow me to tab through these things. And that's really cool. So if I want to, again, go right back into my bin, I could do it that way and then just press enter and then do ls and it goes through and shows me everything that's in my bin folder. Now, the other thing that's really nice is that it has a ton of plugins. So if I, I have this web page open here, and this is a collection on GitHub of a whole bunch of awesome ZSH plugins. It literally says 
awesome ZSH plugin. So you know that every plugin on here is awesome. It says so right in the title. I mean, and it's on the internet, so it has to be true. Nobody would lie to you on the internet. Just facts. Anyways, um, there's just tons of them on this page here. And you can go through and, you know, do different things with your fonts. It, you know, you can add fonts as plugins. It allows you to go through and do cool things with your prompt or your the layout or whatever. And it will, you know, it's just cool. And it, there's a ton of other ones uh, for completion and stuff. So we go back up here to the top. If we go to completion here, where are the comp completions? So there are tons of ones here for, just for completion. So um, completions for auto package. Adds completion support for AWS profiles. Adds completion for AWS manager and CLI. Support bash completions for commands when no native ZSH1 is available. So uh, that one's just, just for bash completions. Uh, add tab completions for Burke shelf. Uh, there's just, I mean, there's literally dozens of these here. I mean, stuff for Docker and Dropbox and uh, uh, FZF completions. So, I mean, there's just, uh, there's hundreds of plugins here on this page. And that's what I like about ZSH. Now, obviously, like with anything that has a plugin system, the more plugins you add, the slower it's going to get. So, ZSH's biggest failure when it comes to actually being, you know, a good shell is that it is slower than bash. And that's just true. I mean, even if you do no plugins at all, it's going to be probably 10 to 15% slower than bash. And if you add on top of that running something like oh my zsh, it's going to be even slower than that. Now, for the most part, I don't notice. I just don't. I don't run any long form programs in my shell that would cause me to notice that it's slow. Now, if you run big bash scripts that take long time to that take a long time to you know complete you'll you'll notice especially like i said if you add more and more plugins so that's just the thing in terms of it comparing it to comparing it to fish fish has a lot of these things that you'd have to add out of the box so it has the auto suggestions out of the box it has a lot of the stuff that zsh touts as things that it enjoys out of the box but again, if you want to run any of your scripts, you're you know you're not going to be able to do that because Fish is not POSIX compliant. It just isn't. So ZSH is very good, and I think that if it was just a little bit faster, I think that it would probably be the shell that would be default default on most systems. Now I know that like Ubuntu has, has switched to Dash, I think is what they use now. And but Gento has gone to to fit has Gento gone to Fish or ZSH? I can't remember. They switched to one of them. So it's come to a point where some of the distributions are finally seeing a light and switching away from Bash to add a few extra layers of functionality into their shells, you know, than what Bash would offer. So that's really exciting because Bash has been the default for 20, 30 years, long time, and it's time for something new. Now, I'm just gonna put this out there. If you use Arco Linux, at least the most recent versions of Arco Linux, Arco Linux has a bash, a bash RC file that is really good. And if you use that bash RC file, you probably won't notice that you're not using ZSH because it has auto suggestions, it has auto correction built in, it has a ton of different aliases that go through and make it, you know, feel like you're using ZSH. It's really good. So. Eric and the team have over there been, have done a really good job of, of making Bash as good as it possibly can be. And you get the ex added you know benefit of it being as fast as Bash can be. So that's really good. So that's the, it for this video. If you want to follow us, you can do so at the LinuxCast. You can follow us on Facebook at, at the LinuxCast. You can support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. And with that in mind, I'd like to thank our current patrons... Devon, Zach, Marcus, American Camp. Thanks, everybody, for your support. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.